like does the same thing that me, like versus mm -hmm. roll and something. Okay, Marky. Down one oh in the second. Uh you get the you tie it one one, but yep. that wasn't enough for you. You didn't want the criteria win no. one one. Yeah. Fired off a shot, catch the lace out of bounds, blew it wide open, it's over at that point. He, you know, with your matches the way you two wrestle. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's that's gonna do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, um obviously like freestyle scoring it's gonna go one one um off of cart off of uh, the shot clock, so I just kinda knew that in the back of my head. But obviously if I've got an opportunity to score and blow the score open, I'm obviously gonna take it. And that's it. That's a wrap. At that point, uh, that's that's the one, though, right? Like you're two and zero against him. Yeah. You know, Iron Man final. Now here the Olympic trial. The two grandest things a high schooler can actually wrestle and maybe throw Fargo in there or some type of U seventeen, U twenty three. That's it, though. Yeah. Right. What's it like to win on the biggest stage against the best guys? Yeah. Hey, you know, like I said yesterday, I'm just super thankful and blessed that I was able to compete in this tournament. You know, initially I wasn't able to, but a couple of things allowed me to, and I think I'm really showcasing why I was able to be able to come in here and obviously wrestling the best of the best here at the olympic trials is so much fun i don't know if you're gonna know the answer we we'll have to lean on bro on bro or i know he's not gonna know the answer who you got next um so i was supposed to have fix but i don't think fix is wrestling so it's gonna be a fourth friday off forest in the third fourth Friday. so four forest for third yeah you knew that one you knew that one i knew he got he knew it he finally it's an answer finally got but forest yep how, how, have you had any matches with first? Yeah, so I wrestled him back in the day, like eighth, seventh grade. He beat me both times, and then actually beat me freshman year at, or maybe sophomore year. But I wrestled him at Clarion Open, and then I ended up beating him there nine to four. So you um, did beat him at Cl your last match is a college, a seven minute college match <clears throat> with riding time. You won. Yes. So the last meeting is Blazer. Yep. What do you got to do? I mean, he's he's wily, he's rolly, yep. he's crazy, he's big. Yeah. What do you got to do? Yeah, I think I just got to stick to my game plan of what I do every match to stay in a really great position and um, keep on hand fighting and move my feet. And nothing really changes. He's obviously be aware of some stuff, but it's not going to change how I wrestle. And, you know, I, I think it'll be a great match. That's probably not going to be until for like a couple hours now yeah. with the forfeit, with no fix. Mm -hmm. How do you do? What do you do between here and there? Yeah, I think I might take my shoes off and just get a little rest in. Um, just be ready uh, whenever because I think these matches might roll, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just get a little rest and get some food in me and uh, hydrate. The bronze here, right? Being a U.S. national team member on an Olympic year as a high schooler, what would it mean to you? Yeah, you know, it means a lot. I think uh, they said top four actually is part of the Olympic or national team on an Olympic year. It's top three world year, but Olympic year, so I think I'm there. Um, but it just, it means the world, obviously. It's awesome, and obviously I want to finish odd. Will you go to Paris if they t want to take you as a training partner? Oh, absolutely, I'd go to Paris. That'd be a, such an awesome opportunity that is one that could never be turned down. Yeah, you got to do that. Yeah, have to. Got to go to the Louvre. Make sure you wear pants. They won't let you in without shorts. <laughs> okay. I tried, trust me. Uh, other big thing for you, uh, I see you warming up with Mendez, right? And it, this college decision thing's always weighing. Everybody wants to know. We're here at Penn State, but I see you warming up with Ohio State guys. It looks like a pretty heated battle. I got a Purdue guy to my right, so I got to watch them. But right now, it sounds like it's a three or four school race, right, for, for Marky yeah. Blaze, right? Yeah, it's about three or four. I mean, obviously, you know, I haven't ruled any schools out, so um, not really sure on that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I train with Ohio State, so I'm really close with them. Jesse doesn't have a uh, warm-up partner. I don't have a warm-up partner. I mean, I have Joey, but he's more of my coach. He does an excellent job in the corner, so... Obviously, I don't really need him to warm up if someone else needs a warm-up partner that I train with quite a, quite good often. What's it like having Joe Blaze 234 here supporting you? Joe Blaze 4 in the, the, the corner, Coach Burnett in the corner. What's this experience been like with your full, whole family around? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I mean, can't get much better than this. I mean, I got my brother, and I got my second dad in my corner, so it's like it's awesome. And then I got my whole support system up in the stands, you know, my – couple of my coaches that are high school coaches we got quite a few and they're all here so i mean it just means a lot and can't thank them enough all right i know you got a good break you don't love talking that much he likes talking but anything else nope good luck against jacks for third place thank you